I mean, that has to be, like, it... Yo, I used to fucking, like, run equipment and shit and, like, run, like, boats. Like, I'm, like, familiar with rust. Yeah. And, dude, if that thing is sitting up there collecting rust for decades... It wouldn't be able to move at all. It wouldn't be able to move at all. I remember having to take a nut off, like, an engine that had, like, been rusted out from salt water. Yeah. And it took all my strength and a pipe to get it off. Or it would take... I mean, I guess there's a potential that whatever, like, hydraulic machinery moved it that if that was all still intact yeah but this was built be in like, like 1940 moved, wasn't it this space when was this space built chris just so you, i think it was like the 40s or the 50s but i'm absolutely positive that there's no way that that thing is in like working order and like was like moved mechanically 42 it was built in the 40s yeah hilarious i don't know why yeah but yeah so it's it was so yeah so it moved wow yeah. That's weird. And they, they, the fucking fire department went out there and, like, couldn't quite get high enough to see what was up. But, like, it was, like, a thing. Like, they, they were like, wow, yes, it moved. And, like... What? What are you laughing at, Chuckles? Skimming over it. The answer is... Meh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The answer is... Exactly. <laughs> they, like, they were just, like... Yeah. Nothing's coming out of this. <laughs> Fucking stop talking about that. Yeah, it's like they were like, we have to go. Like, yeah, some, we know we covered it. It's good. Yeah, some dude showed up in a suit and sunglasses and was like, you're not going to talk about this. It, exactly. <laughs> that fucking lady was like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Go to Salivars. <laughs> you should go oh, now. Yes, Our fucking... friend's not coming here for five hours. Yeah. You should get a table now. Yeah, dude. dude. That's <laughs> weird. You should, you know, I hope that that pops up in fucking Stranger Things. I'll be like, Will. Dude, I'm telling you, the dog had a crazy device on its neck, and that lady was a fed. I, I as well, I sure said, there's that like VHS am, footage of the. See if you can find the footage, Chris. See if you can find it. What? This. Oh, yeah. Oh well, the there. That's one of the acid rooms. Yeah, that's one of the acid rooms. Okay. I found it. Did you find any of the videotapes of the kids walking around? God. Is it creepy? No, I, just I mean, this is creepy. Yeah, like, what are all those weird-ass things on the wall? There's homeless people hanging their rugs. Uh, that that looks like a Bluetooth speaker in a corner. Uh, that's all right. Yes. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Dude, there's somebody... This is so creepy. I, I worked with a guy that, like, did investigations on it. I didn't realize it until I listened to a podcast and they said his name and I'm like wait is this the same person I'm thinking of and it is he, this dude apparently so you know the big thing about the base was the underground like room that said there was like underground like uh, facilities yeah 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 so this dude did like there definitely are There's... oh yeah that's the kind of website you want to go to with, with hard to read writing and, 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 and fonts from the fucking 1999 is this a fucking angel fire page it says dot gov <laughs> This is you know, it's dot ws camp hero at angelfire.com. Oh my god, yeah, of course. Of There's course no, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly where you find pictures like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly whatever it's just like, yeah. There's the go on, we see a satellite dish, yeah, there it is. In all its that's glory, that's wild, dude. It's yeah. wild that that's just there, and they never because they dismantle all the other ones, yeah, because it's like gotta be like a fucking hazard like we especially the, like, well, that's what it is people look the at wind it gets crazy in yeah time. people look at it like why didn't they take the satellite dish down the little town is weird yeah so there's yeah is that the guy uh, well, yeah that's nicholas look at him look at that fucking psycho that was him with the pot on his head yeah that's him look at him with the pot no this head. this is from yeah what the fuck? Yeah, Preston Nichols. That's the that's him right there. I'm pretty sure that guy's a scam artist, but maybe. Well, he's the guy that wrote the Montauk Project. Yeah, no, I know. But I love the I idea of those a guys fourth dimensional up. monster. Yeah, well, supposedly they could open up portals, like yeah. and shit. Like that's what essentially what they would do. There was a chair called the Montauk chair. It was I think they referenced something like it in Strange. Once again, I yeah. love Stranger Things. You're gonna fucking hear a lot of Stranger Things references. I'm probably gonna go watch it after this. Yeah. Um, but like there was a chair. Look up the Montauk chair, Chris. See if there's a, like somebody drew a put there was like a chair that was hooked up to these like electrodes or whatever the fuck and they would find people who had like supposedly had like psychic abilities 
and they would pump them full of energy and that would basically amplify the energy into like opening up fucking portals. Yeah. It's how this supposed monster, they, 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 they like essentially, I say it conjured, but I think like it came out of something. Yeah. yeah. And like in order for it to, yeah, there's like a, nah, that's like an Adirondack, that's a nice Adirondack chair. I don't think that's what they strapped people to. And <laughs> All right. It's not, but like, yeah, it's a Montauk chair, and that's that's how that monster essentially came through. Is they used it to conjure this dude. fucking interdimensional yeah, yeah, yeah. being. Well, dude, I believe wholeheartedly time travels that that so. there are aspects of science and physics that we do not even comprehend. Oh, probably. Like before we understood what fucking radiation was. If you told someone like, "Yo, dude, you hold that rock, you're gonna die." Like, it would have sounded crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, I'm sure, I don't know, that, like, I've, I've smoked DMT, <laughs> and I'll tell you that our brains are all somehow connected. Yeah. Like, I believe there's, like, a greater human consciousness. You believe in psychic abilities? And the, that I, I do. I, I think, I don't know, I'm not saying that people have perfected this and that people no. are out there like using them like superheroes no not a lot but, of that been... but i think that there's probably somewhat exciting science on it yeah the problem is there's a, like you said there's a lot of like scam artists out there yeah there's actually a whole documentary about about this fucking magician i think he's called the amazing randy and his whole like he was a magician but his whole thing is he's like i know what they're doing these are all pollard tricks yeah you know like i'm gonna go and get yeah the amazing randy it's an honest liar. Yeah, that's him right there. It looks like Santa. So his whole thing is that he goes around and deep. He did it was on Carson and he debunked like he he fucked some famous in like the seventies back when like being a psychic was like world yeah. renowned psychic. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. he debunked this dude who did this uh, like it was like a thing with like finding a ball in this cup and there was like there's like a, a way to do it where you can like feel the vibration of where it is. So, but Randy knew that if he did one thing, it would change. You know, I think maybe that's it, right? The, nah, I don't remember, but yeah. <laughs> he did it on. No, I don't remember, but he did it was some trick, and he debunked him live on TV. And like, it was so funny because you see the guy do it, but he's doing the whole like, yeah. And then he just when it doesn't work, he's like, I just, I, I don't know, I can't, I can't tap into it right now. <laughs> like, I yeah. can't, I can't. <laughs> he's like, listen, it's not. A, I just like the idea of like, it's not a light switch. I can't just turn this on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but the whole idea is that he can go on TV and be like, "Oh, it's uh, here's your card." But yeah, a lot of it is just a lot of it is just magic tricks. I feel like real psychic ability probably makes like your eye pop out of your head if you actually have it. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't like I said. I don't know that it's something that can function in the way that you and I know. Like people can. No, it's probably not the way it's depicted in movies. But like, I, yeah, I don't know. I do think that there's like that all human consciousness is like somehow connected. It's very. That's a very peaceful thing to say. <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah, I mean, probably at some level. I mean, like in the theory, like for, even from what I read, if psychic ability it operates off of some sort of energy. Yeah. And if it's from the brain, it stands to reason. This is probably why, if they did do this in Montauk, it probably, it's probably some of the reasoning they had is they were like, well, how can we conjure this energy? If the human brain is putting out this energy, how can we utilize this energy? The millennial stoner outro song. Yeah, pack a bowl and sing along. Blah, la, blah, la, blah, la, 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 la. Ba, ba, blue sheep. Ba, 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 ba. This is the favorite podcast of the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama's mother's name is Dalai Mama.